Hi families, are you guys ready to go on a Bible adventure? We are too! But before we jump into Emily and Shine, we have a very special prop talk for you today. Do you guys know what this is? I can't hear you. It's a gift, you're right! When we choose to follow Jesus, we get a very special gift. Do you guys know what that gift is? It's the Holy Spirit. Now I have some questions for you guys. Does the Holy Spirit live in a pretty flower? No. Does the Holy Spirit live in a crazy monkey? No. Does the Holy Spirit live in a stinky shoe? No. The Holy Spirit lives in you when you choose to trust and follow Jesus. Do you guys wanna play a game? When I hold out the gifts like this, I want you to shout, God's Holy Spirit can live in me. Are you guys ready to play? I think you're ready, here we go. God's Holy Spirit can live in me. Oh my goodness, you guys sound amazing. Are you guys ready to go on our Bible adventure? Shake your hands high in the sky. Woohoo! On your mark, get set, go on a Bible adventure. So much in the Bible for me to know on my Bible adventure. I wanna know that God is real. I wanna know how I could be his friend. I wanna know who Jesus is. I wanna find out what the Bible's all about. Hey! Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. La, la, la. On your mark, get set, go on a Bible adventure. So many ways that I will grow on my Bible adventure. I'm gonna learn my memory verse I'm gonna pray and talk to God I'm gonna sing new songs to God And keep singing the songs all week long Oh, do 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 La 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 On your mark, get set, go On a Bible adventure Church is a fun place we can go On a Bible adventure Oh. Oh. <gasps> Sweet sugary smiles. Hi friends. I'm getting ready to go on a Bible adventure. <gasps> Shake your hands high in the sky if you want to come with me. Woohoo! <laughs> Great. Then let's put on our adventure bags. Shine, my star friend, sent me a question. Why does God's Holy Spirit live in you? Hmm, I hope he's here soon to help me find the answer. Come in! <gasps> Hi, Emily. Have you packed your picture passes yet? No, but I got your question. Why does God's Holy Spirit live in you? God is really, really big. I don't know why he would want to live in me. Which picture passes will help me, Shine? I'll give you hints to help you out. Friends, will you help too? Great! Then let's look at our picture passes. <gasps> wow! The first picture pass is something you give someone on their birthday. Oh, what is it, friends? <gasps> oh, oh, we picked the gift, is that it? <laughs> yes, open your adventure bag and pack the gift. Hot diggity dog, I love presents. <laughs> Me too, here's the next hint. It's a place to live. It has a roof, a door, and windows. Hmm, which do you think it is, friends? <laughs> That's right, it's a house. Then I'm going to put the house picture pass in my adventure bag. <laughs> One more, it's got glass on it, so you have to be careful. When you look at it, you can see yourself. What do you think it is, friends? <gasps> oh, <gasps> we picked the mirror. <gasps> oh. Let's 
zip our adventure bag together. <gasps> now it's time to fly. Come on, let's go. We have a gift, a house, a mirror. Shine, how do these picture passes show me the reason God wants his Holy Spirit to live in me? I have the perfect story from the book of Acts in the Bible. <gasps> the Bible is God's book for you. You can trust it's right and true. <gasps> God's wonderful gift. <gasps> do you think the story is about getting presents? Let's watch it to find out. <gasps> Jews from all over the world were in Jerusalem for the Feast of Pentecost. Jesus' followers were there too. They gathered together, waiting for the gift Jesus had promised them. In the middle of the festival, God's gift arrived. It began with a sound, a sound like a howling wind that filled the house where they were waiting. Next, something that looked like fire settled on each one of them. Then. God's Holy Spirit filled everyone in the room, and He gave them power to speak different languages. Jews from other parts of the world heard them and were amazed. These people are speaking our languages, they said, and proclaiming the wonderful things God has done. This is God's gift, Peter explained. It was promised long ago. It comes to us through Jesus, the Messiah. You crucified Him, but God brought him back to life. What should we do? The people asked sadly. Turn away from evil, said Peter. Believe in Jesus Christ. He will forgive your sins and give you his Holy Spirit. On that day, 3,000 people were baptized. They were just the first of many people who had come to trust in Jesus as their savior. Wow! God's Holy Spirit came and lived inside of all of Jesus' followers. God's Holy Spirit gave them power to do things they never did before. Yeah, but that happened a long time ago. Can God's Holy Spirit come and live inside of us and give us power too? God's Holy Spirit can still live inside of us. I know He lives inside of me. God's Holy Spirit gives me power! <gasps> That's the answer, Shine! Did you hear that, friends? How about I say the question and you can say the answer? Why does God's Holy Spirit live in you? God's Holy Spirit gives me power! Well, I'm off to play with Blinky. And I need to visit Guy the Bible Guy. See ya, Shine! Let's go! <laughs> that must be Emily. Come in! Hi, Guy! My friends and I are on a Bible adventure! Oh, what are you trying to find out? Well, we want to understand the question, why does God's Holy Spirit live in you? I know! God's Holy Spirit gives me power! That's the answer! We saw a story where God's people got all filled up with the Holy Spirit back in Bible times. Can God's Holy Spirit fill me up too? When you choose to make Jesus the leader in your life, God's Holy Spirit fills your spirit. I was just reading that very same story in my Bible. God gave his followers something amazing. Wait, I packed something in my bag about that. <gasps> hmm. <gasps> Friends, it's something special you get on your birthday. Right! God's Holy Spirit is a wonderful gift! A special present from God to live in you when you choose to follow Jesus. I remember doing that. I asked Jesus to take all the sin and wrong choices out of my heart. Is that when God's Holy Spirit came to live inside of me? Yes, it was the same thing for me. And now God's Holy Spirit gives me power. Yowza palooza, that is a God-sized gift. Friends, wiggle your ears if you want to learn a verse about it. 
Okay, here goes. Romans 15, 19. He has given me the power of the Holy Spirit. Whoosh! Oh, that's fun. Let's repeat it. Romans 15, 19. Romans 15, 19. He has. He has. Given me. Given me. The power. The power. Of the Holy Spirit. Whoosh. Of the Holy Spirit. Whoosh. <laughs> Good job, friends. Now let's do it all together. Romans 15, 19. He, he has given me the power of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Whoosh. <laughs> God's Holy Spirit really does live in me. He gives me the power to live just like Jesus. I can do what God wants for me because of his power. Thanks for teaching us, Guy. Uh, I'm happy to teach you what God says in my favorite book, the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Emily. Bye, Guy. Bye, friends. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa, wait a minute. Friends, do they look happy or mad? They do look mad. Blinky, Cloudette, what's going on? This isn't like you. <laughs> it's not fair. I'm just so mad. Cloudette always wants to hide first in hide and seek. <laughs> no, it's Blinky who won't take turns. Being first is fun. Friends, have you wanted to be first before? Everyone wants to be first. Not everyone. I know someone who always lets others go first. What? what? How could anyone ever let someone else go first? Jesus could. He had God's Holy Spirit living in him, so he would love others enough to let them be first. But shine. Jesus is God's son. That's why he could do the right thing. Well, I just can't do it. Blinky, you can. Remember when you asked Jesus to be your boss and your best friend? God gave you the gift of the Holy Spirit. Well, yeah. My heart is a home for God's Holy Spirit now. God's Holy Spirit lives in your heart to help you be strong and to give you the power to change. Help me? Change me? Oh la la! The Holy Spirit gives us the power to live like Jesus. He helps us make the right choice. Shine. Yes, Blinky? Can the Holy Spirit give me the power to let Cloudette go first? <laughs> yes, Blinky, even to let Cloudette go first. But Shine, I still feel angry inside. Let's talk to God about it and ask his Holy Spirit to help you. Ah, oh, yes, I'll pray with you. God, thanks for filling me up with your Holy Spirit. Please give me the power to live just like Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Wow, that helped me calm down. I feel better, too. God's Holy Spirit changes me from the inside out. Claudette, you can hide first. I'll seek. Really? I love hiding first. And I love living like Jesus. Let's play. Shine, come hide with me. <laughs> All right! I'm coming, Cloudette! One, two, three... Okay, so we know the verse and the answer to the question, why does God's Holy Spirit live in you? Answer with me, friends! God's Holy Spirit gives me power! Great! Well, Mr. Music is pretty smart. I bet he'll know a song that will help us on our Bible adventure. Come on! It's open. Hey, Mr. Music. I hope I didn't interrupt you. Hey, Emily. 
The only thing that makes me happier than worshiping God with music is worshiping God with friends. My friends and I are on a Bible adventure. We're trying to understand the question, why does God's Holy Spirit live in you? Well, I know the answer. God's Holy Spirit gives me power. Yes, Guy the Bible Guy gave us a Bible verse that says it this way, Romans 15, 19. He has given me the power of the Holy Spirit. Whoosh. But Mr. Music, it seems kind of weird that such a great big God can fit inside of me. I mean, isn't he crowded in there? And how can he fit in all of us at once? When I was a kid, I had the same questions. I found out that when the Bible talks about my heart, it doesn't mean the thing inside my chest that goes bum bum, bum bum. Well, what kind of heart does the Bible mean? It means a spirit kind of heart. It's like this, God is a spirit. We can't see him with our eyes. Oh, he's way too big to see. God made people like him. We are a spirit you can't see too. Poppin' puppies! God has made each one of us with a spirit made especially for God's Holy Spirit to live in. The Holy Spirit is with us wherever we go. He has given us the same power Jesus had so we can make the right choices. God's Holy Spirit has a special spirit home inside of us. <gasps> that reminds me of something. Or somewhere? Somewhere you can live! What is it, friends? A house! My heart is a house for the Holy Spirit to live in. He comforts me, and he makes me feel brave when I feel afraid. You know, God's Holy Spirit gives me songs to sing to him. Clap your hands together if you'd like to learn a new song about how the Holy Spirit gives us power. Clap with me, friends. Okay, sounds like you're ready. Here we go. When I get sad, when I get scared, when it gets hard to do the right thing, I know I'm never alone. I am not on my own. The Holy Spirit gives me power. Here we go. God's Spirit lives in me. His power lives in me. God's Spirit lives in me. His power lives in me. God's Spirit lives in me. His power lives in me. God's Spirit lives in me. His power lives in me. Lives in me. That was great. Yeah, let's do it again. Okay. When I get hurt, when I get mad, when it gets tough for me to obey, I know I'm never alone, I am not on my own, the Holy Spirit gives me power. Here we go! God's Spirit lives in me, His power lives in me. God's Spirit lives in me, His power lives in me. God's Spirit lives in me, His power lives in me. God's Spirit lives in me, His power lives in me. That was so much fun! That was fun! Now let's spend some more time worshiping God with music, singing, and dancing. Oh, dancing! My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty There's nothing my God cannot do He made the trees, He made the seas He made the elephants too My God is so big, so strong and so mighty There's nothing my God cannot do
so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are His, the valleys are His, the stars are His handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. had a great Bible adventure? Did we have a great Bible adventure? Yes! <laughs> Sounds like it was fun. It was fun. We learned the answer to the question. Will you help me tell Shine the answer? Oh. Okay, friends, why does God's Holy Spirit live in you? God's Holy Spirit gives me power! <laughs> We learned that God's Holy Spirit is a gift to us and that my heart becomes a house for God's Holy Spirit to live in when I've asked Jesus to be the leader of my life. Do you have a picture pass left? Yes. It's something you can see yourself in. What is it, friends? The mirror! <laughs> Shine, God's Holy Spirit changes me, but when I look in the mirror, I don't look any different. He doesn't change your outside. He changes your spirit kind of heart on the inside, so you look more like Jesus in the way you act. Yuppie guppy! Oh, he's there to comfort me when I'm sad, and he makes me brave when I'm afraid. When God's Holy Spirit lives in you, He gives you the power to live like Jesus. I wish I could see that in a mirror. You can't see your spirit heart, but God can see it. He loves looking at your heart when the Holy Spirit lives there. Shine, we learned a verse about that. Let's all say it together. Romans 15, 19. He has given me the power of the Holy Spirit. Whoosh. Emily, I want God's Holy Spirit to live in all of our friends. Can we pray about that together before it's time to go? Okay. Let's bow our heads and close our eyes. We're going to talk to God together. God, thank you for the wonderful gift of your Holy Spirit. Please fill our friends with your power as they learn to trust you with their whole hearts. Give them the power to live like Jesus. In Jesus' name, Amen. Sweet sassy molassy, it's time to go. We'll see you next time for another Bible adventure. Bye-bye. Friends, wasn't that such a fun Bible adventure? All right, now it's time for our picture passes. Do you guys know what this is? That's right, it's my adventure bag. Let's put ours on together on the count of three. Are you guys ready? One, two, three, whoosh. All right, friends, let's see which picture pass I pull out first. Can you guys guess which one it'll be? Let's see what it is, let's see what it is. What is this? I can't hear you, can you be a little louder? That's right, it's a house. God's Holy Spirit can live in me. All right, friends, I'm gonna put this one back and find another picture pass. Can you guys guess which one will be next? All right, are you guys ready for the next one? What is this? You're right, it's a gift. The gift reminds us that God's Holy Spirit is a gift. All right, friends, I have one more picture pass. Are you guys excited? Oh, I bet you guys can guess it. Can you guess it? Guess it super loud, one, two, three, guess. All right, friends, you're right, it's the mirror. The mirror reminds us that I can look like Jesus. Great job today, friends. All right, that was our last picture pass, but didn't we have so much fun on our Bible adventure? Yes, me too. And all of those picture passes remind us that God's Holy Spirit can live in me. 
Can you guys say that with me super loud on the count of three? One, two, three. God's Holy Spirit can live in me. That's right, you guys are so good. All right, friends, I had so much fun going on a Bible adventure with you today, and I hope you did too. Now there's some questions on screen for you to talk about with your family. Bye.